What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Alolan Data Decks with me, the one integral. Last episode we covered the bird type from the Alolan region, Oricorio, with the four different typings and I gave you a choice for today's episode between two normal type Pokemon from Generation 7, Oranguru and Type Null, and Type Null basically won. It was very close, um, basically the votes were exactly equal at times, but we went for Type Null um, because why not, it's Type Null, pretty badass. And we're going to be covering that today, but of course, next episode is a sort of a second chance saloon. We have two Alolan forms that we've had options for previously, but haven't won out, and those are Alolan Persian and Alolan Golem. So we just like the pure type Persian or the rock electric type Golem. Let me know down below by commenting either Persian or Golem, and one of those votes will be covered next episode. Golem or Golem, I don't know, I say either. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look at type null. Type Null is number 772 in the National Pokedex, being a pure normal type and the synthetic Pokemon. It stands at 6 foot 3 inches or 1.9 meters and weighs 265.7 pounds or 120.5 kilograms, so pretty big and pretty heavy. Being sort of a synthetic Pokemon, it's in the Undiscovered Air group and is genderless, but does have an evolution, of course, being Silvalli, which is when you get high happiness. Now, of course, I've covered Silvalli before, but you can still use Type Null competitively since the only changes in stats between the two Pokemon are the speed stat of Type Null raising slightly. You can see the base stats here, all 95 apart from speed, which is 59. When you evolve to Silvalli, that speed flips up to 95. So that's the only difference between Type Null and Silvalli, of course, apart from some moves that Silvalli can learn that Type Null can't. So generally, and of course the ability and stuff like that, but generally stat-wise, pretty much similar. And of course, it gives you access to Eviolite because of course you're not fully evolved, so pretty good there. Type Null's ability here is Battle Armor, which protects it from critical hits, which I guess can work quite well with an Eevee Light because you can't get critted, so it's never going to be sort of going down to that. So, let's jump in and have a look at the pure typing. Obviously, pure normal, nothing much to look at. Weak to fighting, immune to ghost, that's it. Not the best typing, but it can still manage, I suppose. In terms of the moves, of course, it gets the majority of the moves that Silvalli could learn because it was the pre-evolution Silvalli, excluding a few that Silvalli learns after evolution, so it's got a good move pool. First up, a couple of level up moves, we have level 8, 35, not 85, X, Scissor, bug type move, 80 base power, pretty decent, you know, good, good sort of power I suppose and good coverage too, followed up by Iron Head level 50, so this is a very good move to be using and to have, you know, get, you know, good thing to have against fairies and such, rock type which otherwise might wall you and, and just a generally good move. Then the rest are TMs, the first being TM02 Dragon Claw, not maybe the most common move because obviously it only is really super effective against dragon types, but it could be something to think about running because why not. Then we have TM17 Protect is obviously linking with Eviolite, maybe have leftovers, protect every other turn to get some help with restoration going, that sort of thing. And you might instead use Rest at TM44 to go for more of maybe a Rest Sleep Talk set or maybe just a Rest set or maybe a Chester Bear if you really wanted um, to fully restore health points once or however many times you want to rest up. Then we have TM65 Shadow Claw, alternative to some of the previous attacking moves, higher critical hit ratio, uh, but of course slightly lower power, but does give you coverage against ghost types, uh, whereas you know the others wouldn't be super effective, so maybe a good choice there. Then we have TM75 Swords Dance, if you can get one or two of these off, definitely a good thing for you, uh, as I said, same attack stat as Silvalli, so you're not really at too much of a disadvantage there, so pretty good nonetheless. And then one final TM move is TM80 Rock Slide. Um, I would say good coverage, but you know, generally a good move. Can flinch the opponent too, of course, don't forget. Only 90% accuracy and only 75 base power, but of course, still generally all round good move. So, what sets could we use for a type null? Well, we're looking at two, both Eviolite sets, one being more of sort of just all that attacking set, but you know, pairing it with Eviolite for the extra bonuses and defenses, and then the other one being, you know, sort of more of a bulky set almost. So, um, I'll preface this for saying if you want to go for all attacking with like a life orb or a choice ban or whatever, I will direct you to Silvalli because Silvalli has the higher speed and why would you not? You know, Eevee Light is basically the only reason to use Type Null, so that's of course what we're going to go here. So, moveset is going to be Shadow Claw, Iron Head, X Scissor, and Rock Slide. Ability is Battle Armor, Nature is an adamant one. Held item, of course, as I mentioned, is the Eevee Light, and the Eevees we have maximum attack, and then 132 health points, 124 physical defense. So, Move-wise, we have Shadow Claw to cover the Ghost types, Iron Head to cover Fairy types and Rock types, X Scissors to give you just generally more coverage against Psychic types, Dark types for example, and the last one is Rock Slide, again more coverage, Flying types, Fire types, stuff like that. Battle Armor is the only ability, Adamant Nature because 
as we saw, we have a fairly low speed stat at 59, so we don't really want to be going for Jolly, so we just want to go for the most power. Of course, paired with Eevee Light, we have higher defenses, so we don't have to necessarily worry about always going first, we have a bit more bulk on our side. The Eevee Light is there, which is going to boost our defense and our special defense, which is basically the main reason why you use a type now, as I mentioned. And the Eevee is, of course, maximum attack for all that power. The rest is then split between health points and defense to give you all around bulk, as well as more bulk in the physical side, because generally that's what you'd be facing off against. In terms of using this set, it's an Eevee Light set, it's, it's fairly simple. You go and you attack, and then you switch out if you want to. Uh, of course, there's no leftovers, you can't have leftovers on Eevee Light. Why, why would you do that? Uh, that makes no sense. So, of course, you just go in, you attack basically, if, if you get into a bad matchup or you don't really have a good move to use then switch out and come back in later on. Of course the only thing to worry about then would be spikes or stealth rocks, so fairly simple there. In terms of the second set, it's the same, basically it's the same shell, it's just different moves. So everything's the same as you can see, ability, nature, hold item and the EVs are all the same. Just different moves, we have rest, sleep talk, return and shadow claw. Obviously return I didn't mention just now, but you get stab on it, pretty high base power pretty good to use, you can use it on the first set as well, but generally looking for coverage, uh, not so much, you know, power I suppose, but you can run it here, it's an option, I thought I'd list it here just so it's mentioned somewhere, uh, but of course you could run any of the other cover moves in the, these last two slots, you know, Iron Head and Shadow Claw, Iron Head Nexus, etc, loads of stuff like that, but generally the idea of here is a bit more, not, sorry, bulkier, because of course we have the same EVs and such, but you could do a slightly different EV spread, slightly different nature, but the thing is, if you go full defensive, that's all, that's all good, great, full defensive, but you have, I wouldn't say such a low attack, but you're, you're pure going for just all defense, that sure you you can maybe survive a good few hits, but you have apart from rest, sleep talk, no help and restoration, and you're not doing much damage. So you can go full defensive, I wouldn't say with this. So maybe balance out with the adamant nature, but with the EV light to boost your defenses as much as you need to, then you can attack, attack, and then when you need to, you can rest and sleep talk, and it sort of works out similar to the first set, apart from the fact that you have a way to consistently regenerate your health points. Of course. The only downside here is you have less coverage moves, so we have return to generally you know, what you use to attack, unless of course you get faced with a ghost type or a rock type for example, and then Shadow Claw is your next best bet of course. As I mentioned though, you can flip them around as much as you want, but that's really it for type now. There's not a huge sort of niche for it, it's more of an underused, if that, Pokemon, so really not too high, but of course, don't forget to go for next episode's Pokemon, either a load in Persian or a load in Golem, so comment Persian or Golem down below to, I guess, register your vote. But for now, this is going to be it for today, so I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>